Um, I'm Camilla from The Pink Locket, also known as at The Pink Locket on Twitter. And as you all know, I have a Etsy shop where I actually sell a lot of my um, handmade jewelry design creations. And um, this series is going to be sort of the start of more to come. It's um, going to be called DIY Deconstruct and Construct or upcycling your um, old jewelry pieces into new ones for yourself. And today what we're going to do, we're going to look at creating beaded bangles. And if you guys have been on my Etsy site, you probably have seen bangles that look like this. Which are just plain old squared bangles that were created into sort of beaded ones, you know, as you can see. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the same thing today, but we're going to be using round bangles like this. Um, I got a bunch of random colored round bangles. I love to wear them because I think they can accentuate pretty much any outfit. But I have a set of bangles and I'm going to take the gold ones today. The pink ones and I'll probably leave those for another time. And what you're going to need um, very simple tools that you can get at um, your craft store, your Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, whichever is your favorite. Um, and really what you're going to need is you're going to need 28 gauge wire which is the very thin wire, very bendable as you can see. And I would suggest getting the brass ones or the gold ones because I just think they give off a nice, nicer color. And um, you're also going to need a wire cutter, which looks like this. It has a part here to cut the wire. Or they also have these really neat combo ones, which if you're starting off, it's probably the best one to get, you know, these are typically more more expensive than your average one. You know, this is probably about maybe three bucks as opposed to this is probably about ten bucks. So, um, the combo ones are really great because it has a nose plier where you can actually make round loops. And it also has a little wire cutter right here where you can cut your wire. So, uh, I'm going to start off with about, let's say, about 12 inches of wire. You're going to keep coming back for more and more wire. So, if you want to start off longer maybe 24 inches that's fine because you just get more wrapping ability so we're gonna sort of cut the wire right there snip and we're gonna take the mangles and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take maybe about an inch of the wire and sort of just wrap it a couple of times to sort of secure it around the bangle I would suggest maybe wrapping it maybe five or six times just to sort of get a good starting point point. and as you can see once you wrap it you just take your fingers and you just sort of slide it together like that so you can get like a nice loop like that then we're gonna use I'm using seed beads which I typically don't like to work with but for these purposes it's really good they just get all over the place and sometimes they're a little teased but they're actually really great to use so I'm gonna start off with one seed bead and sort of stringing it on the wire like this Move it all the way down and let it sit on top of the bangle. With the round bangles, it's kind of hard because it's a round surface as opposed to squares where it actually has like a flat surface it can sit on. But nonetheless, you can do it on either one. You're going to take the wire and you're going to wrap it not get my finger away, three to four times. Don't wrap it any more than that because then the beads, as you start to string on more and more beads, are going to be further and further apart. So I wouldn't wrap it any more than three to four times or else the beads are going to look too spaced out. I'll just give you an up close look of what it should look like. And then we're going to take another bead and we're going to string it on here. And you're going to hold on to them because sometimes the beads will, since it's round, it does tend to roll around the bangle, but if you hold it, it keeps it stationary. Wrap the wire three to four times. Well, you can move them together as you do it, see? See why I wouldn't wrap it any more than three to four times? You want to be able to squeeze them together so they look tight as possible, like that. And then you just go and add another one and just keep going all the way around the bangle. Um, typically it may take you anywhere, even though it looks like it's sort of tedious, it may take you anywhere from about maybe, um, 
maybe five minutes. It's kind of repetitive, but it's a really neat way just to renew some of your old jewelry in your closet, you know, instead of just throwing it away or just giving it away, you know, you can revamp it into something really nice. So you just keep going all the way around and until you get a final product that sort of looks like this and you can make them anywhere from three to four and stack them and they look really nice stacked on your arm they also make really great gifts for the holidays too so but that's it for today um tune in next week and i'll have another diy tutorial for you um Keep looking at my website, um, continuously updating my blog and um, my Etsy store with new stuff. And the holidays are coming up, so look out for Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales as well. And then until then, I'll see you next week when we create another project. Take care.